We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up GCT stock. We are on a monthly time frame. Price action, last count to the right hand side, is a bullish green candle coming from an area of support. So we do have price action overall, higher highs, price action overall, lower lows. Midpoint. Price action is currently sitting at 23.65. So if price action work is way up, we do have a high of this wick and a low of that previous overall high as high as the SR line we did create. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, tag that area of highs and also add a midpoint between that wick. And we also wanna add second level lows within that area we just created. And we can currently see what price is sitting at. So if price action work its way up to the next level, we can head up to uh, new previous levels of 32.24 and if price work is way down from that area price can head down to 19.29 or we can see receive that consolidation in that area so let's read the market market started off with a bearish red candle with a long wake up to the top so that's identifying is that the market came straight down okay so it lost momentum at the top came straight down and it closed out at the overall lowest lows the price action came back to retest that overall midpoint that we do see with that lick with the wick that we did create it the midpoint between the wick so market came back to retest that area near that area so we got to see what's going to happen so we do know there's a few things that can happen in the market we do know that the market pushed down it broke something came back to retest the market can drop down to a previous level or that market can identify as the price action and go off in the second last candle that can push up further with bullish green candles. Also, we can see that price action is sitting uh, currently on our SR line. So as we walk down the time frame, we want to see if market is breaking that to identify some type of break and retest while pattern happening in that area. On the weekly time frame, price action, bullish green candle with the long wick down to the bottom. So it's tagging the area of support for the second time. Price action, the first candle in the market did it first. And price action did it the second time. So let's read the market. So what happened in the market is that price action, first candle in the market, pushed up. Second last candle came back to retest. And price action pushed up to that midpoint of that area of near the SR line. So I said before, a price action breakup is going to head up to the previous levels of 32.24. If it breaks down from that area, it's back, back to our previous SR line of 1929. And it may be a midpoint in that area between price action 19.29 of price. So if price is respected, we can see that market start break, breaking up that SR line. Or it may just run into an area of resistance and work its way down. Or we may receive that consolidation. Uh, side by side with price action or something within that price action candle. On a daily time frame, price action bullish green candle. Um, price action is golfing the second, third, fourth, and reaching its way to the fifth and last candle. But price action did run into our SR line, so we got to see what's really going on. So it's still identifying that market spiked up. It's a pattern that happened at that high, so let's talk about it. At that high, that area overall at the top. Market identified a double top. So we have that first leg, second leg, third leg with the green candle, and the market pushed down from a double top. It broke that midpoint, came back to retest, broke the midpoint again, um, broke that area, that low, and it came back for a full retest. So we want to see if this full retest is um, respected. If so, market's coming down for a break and retest of an overall in that area unless we receive a pattern that's going to work its way up for that pattern of overall first, second, third, 
and market pushes up from a decline W. So that means we're looking for the break of that SR line at current price. The retest for that market to work is way back up to the previous areas of price of 32.24. We can see that price action did tag something in that uh, midpoint area between price 32.24 and 23.90. So we're going to see what's going on as we walk down the time frame. So far, price can't push up until we got engulfment patterns of the last uh, previous second, third, fourth, the last candle. On a four hour time frame, so price action is having a hard time breaking the SR line. It did came back for a retest, so let's talk about what's happening. We did identify below price action at decline W. Let's draw it out one more time. First, second, third, fourth. Okay, price action is a retest of that midpoint between price of 23.90 and 19.29. If it's respected, market's going to push up and is near the SR line. So we're going to see if we can receive that break. If so, market's identifying a double bottom and a retest. If not, we're looking for a pattern to identify itself that can close out in this area. And we look for that pattern from Forex pattern cheat sheet. Click on images and market can draw a pattern out like a bearish red candle, close out below price action come back to our SR line if it breaks the SR line we know it's headed down to the next previous level which would be 1703 or we can receive that consolidation as price kind of doing so price action body is above the previous candle uh, price action wick is not above the previous wick so it's type of, some type of wedge pattern that's happening in that area so we'll talk about it as we walk down the time frame Three hour time frame now we can see that market bouncing up and down. So market spiked up, second last candle spiked down, price action trying to spike up, but it ran into the SR line. So we can see that market's creating that wedge pattern of a flag. Walking down to the two hour time frame, same as well. So we starting to see a push, a second push with the third to last candle. Second last candle is a retest and price action to push. So it's creating some type of double bottom or a single bottom and a retest overall what we see on a two hour time frame but it may identify something different as we walk down the time frame one hour time frame market so has pushed up came back to retest price action is trying to push up so we do have that first leg second leg drawing itself out a price action once again ran to the sr line so we're going to see if it breaks above if not it's going to reject it it come from a double top of that first second third and market is coming down so far, we are getting received price action and golfing within those um, consolidating, consolidating within those areas. So on the 45 minute, we do have price action uh, and golfing the second, third, fourth, the last candle in the market. But once again, it ran to the SR line, so that's like a midpoint before it got to this area of highs. Okay, current highs. If it does break above this SR line as we walk down the time frame, price can head up to price of 25.63 if not as i said before it can decline and come back to previous numbers of 21.21 30 minute time frame we're starting to see that w formation still prices on that sr line for that w walking down to the 15 minute time frame still identifying the same thing overall first second third and market pushed up to for that w so we all we're looking for is the market to finish breaking the sr line to come back to retest and see if it's going to work its way up further. If not, market can be rejected and work its way down from that resistance. So price action on the five minute time frame is a bearish red doji. So it's retesting the second last candle, which is a push. But second last candle did lose momentum in this area. So second last candle did spike up price action retest. So we're still looking for a pattern to identify itself in that area for that market to respect it and push up or engulf with another candle that can engulf that price action candle to work its way down three hour time frame is identifying the same thing one hour time frame identify a bullish green candle that's trying to work its way up above price so if price action engulf this second and third to last candle price can push up to the previous numbers of 23.86 so then you'll see that clear out first leg second leg third leg and market pushing up for that w if not markets run into a rejection of that overall first second third fourth uh this could be the retest if we receive a pattern in that area markets coming down from a double top and retest or a triple top 